Good morning. Welcome to our daily devotions today, July 21st, Tuesday morning. First, thank you to all who participated and watched our services last Sunday. It was a joy to worship with you last Sunday, and I continue with my devotions here on Tuesday, July 21st. Scripture passage this morning, Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. The strength of God is always with us. And I remind all of us that day, today, that that courage, that strength is what's going to help see us through. So I am going to speak to you about one of my favorite topics I've talked to you about before, care versus cure. <clears throat> when we want to cure, we want to try to fix and make better. But if we are able to find our way through caring for ourselves and caring for others, we find that we're able to do what is necessary for this moment and the next moment, and we don't have to cure because God does the curing. I know this is especially true during the challenges that we are finding ourselves in right now. God created us and God chose to give us the gift of being human. God has freely created us to be the sort of children who are not subject to having some wand waved over our head. Believe this and everything will be all right. Follow God and God will take care of all your problems. Our faith is so much more complex than that. I want to speak to you now about a word that I I've used, and it's a reminder, gremlins. How many of you have ever heard of this word, gremlin? Gremlins are those tiny voices in the back of our minds that say to us, I will never amount to anything. I'm not good. I have no skills. I can't do that. I guess the doctors are right. I don't have a chance of ever finding wellness in my mind, body, and spirit in spite of what is going on in our world right now. Or for many of us, the gremlins that tell us we don't have enough time, money, resources, or brains to make our way through life. Gremlins are those tiny things that sometimes take over our thought processes. They tell us that we should live in fear right now. Fear versus faith is one of the big gremlins that we are all fighting with right now. As humans, we're prone to find ourselves dealing with gremlins in our lives. The gremlin is a concept developed by Richard Carson that embodies a group thought processes and feelings that actually maintain the status quo of our lives. Operating as a structure that would seem to protect us, it is in fact keeps us from moving forward and getting what we truly deserve in this life. Like our minds, the gremlin will always be with us. It is neither good nor bad, but it is. Hear the good news. The gremlin loses its power over us when we can identify it for what it is. Notice our options in the situation that is before us, and then consciously choose what it is we desire to think and to do. Here's the bottom line. We never go backwards in our faith development. Our path through life takes us through many struggles, challenges, hardships, and pain, especially right now. We can all relate to this. However, as I spoke Sunday in my sermon, we must learn to create from rather than react to. And if we are able to create from our situation, say, okay, God, what is it that I need to create for my being today or tomorrow or the future, rather than just reacting to it and trying to put out those little fires all of the time, learn to 
create from. Reevaluate, regroup, rethink, and most likely repray ourselves through this life. And when we are do that, prayer is a marvelous tool to remind us of God's presence, presence. So I encourage you to step forth in your faith journey, find strength and hope through your fears and doubts. God desires this for you. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing this good news. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that we don't need to deal with those gremlins. We can say, get behind me. They are not taking over my life. I am learning to create from the situation rather than reacting to our situation. And we know, Lord, that you are continuing to remind us of your love, the faith, the hope, the grace that will see us through this difficult challenge. And bless this day. In Christ Jesus' name we pray and everyone said, Amen. Thank you and we will see you Thursday morning.